name is Alex Cilio. I'm a graphic artist. I'm going to show you how to make a seashell in Illustrator. So what we're going to do ideally is I'm going to start off with a circle and ellipse. And you can just go up to the left side of your screen and press the ellipse tool, or you can just push L. And then you're going to select the direct selection tool. Now what this does is it will allow you to select a specific anchor point. So I'm going to just draw a little square on the bottom and just push delete and that's going to get rid of this little dilemma here. And then you can use the pen tool and just make sure that's selected. And just click on an anchor and then get, go to your midpoint and just kind of like make a curved line like that. And this is just to create the basic outline of the shape because um, what we're actually going to do is add some some little bumps to it to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then you can transform, reflect, and then that will make an identical. And so already you can see this shape. So this is kind of the shape we're going for. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make little ellipses like this. And actually, you really only need to make one. And just do the same thing that we did before, just a little square, delete. And then you can mess around with this and make it a little more um, stretched out if you want, more shapely. I'm going to do that. And then um, you can, and then make sure to remember um, when you're moving those points to have the direct selection tool. But the selection tool is the one I'm going to pick right now because I've already finished doing that. And hold down Option and just drag it. And what we're going to do is actually put it on top of this. And I'm actually going to copy this by pushing Command-C, select both, Command-C, delete it, and then put it on a new layer, a new layer button. It's right there. And then we have our, and I'm going to lock this. And the reason I'm locking this is just to make it so it's easier to, um, to draw on top of it. Oh, and, and then select unlock it and then select, uh, just drag over the whole thing, go to object, group. That way you can move it and it won't come apart. And then you want to lock it. And then you can just start you know, putting, um, putting these little guys on there. And you can rotate it any way you want um, and have it look however you wish. And sometimes um, these little grid lines are these uh, boxes can get in the way. So if you go to view, you can go to um, hide the bounding box. It just gets rid of it so you have a little bit more room to, uh, to work and you know see what you're doing because that can get a little frustrating. Um, and then some of these, because the shell is not um, shaped directly across. It's, it's got a curved pattern. We're going to want to make sure that we mess around with these little bumps so that they kind of fit the form of a shell. And then you just want to keep doing that. And then uh, you can rotate that and just keep moving. And you can hold and move the anchor points so that they're a little more stretched out than others. All right, so and then I'm going to make one more, and then we're going to copy and paste it. And in this case, I'm actually going to put the bounding boxes back just because um, it can get a little confusing if you're trying to rotate it. Show bounding box, and then we're going to rotate that a little bit. And maybe make it a little smaller. that there, click and drag this anchor point. All right, so there we have the beginning of this shape. Go ahead and unlock this, and I'm gonna lock this side, or this layer, and then I'm gonna drag and just make sure that you get the top. So that way you still have this bottom shape. And you can just copy and paste, literally copy and paste like just drag over, hold down Option, drag it, and then you can uh, uh, do that again. Uh, right click or Control, Transform, Reflect to reflect it. Make a 
Get rid of this little guy. And then you can just move that any way you want to. And then this is going to look a little strange. And since we locked it, I'm going to unlock that. You can just move your anchor point like that. And already you have your basic shell shape. Um, so what I'm going to do is add, you can just add some lines with your uh, pen tool. You can see it's already getting that shell shape. Just make sure every once in a while to just stop and click off of the pen tool because it can get a little frustrating for sure. Um, it'll start to cross pads and you don't want that. And voila, there you have a very simple shell. And my name's Alex and this is Creating a Shell in Illustrator. Thank you.